The chateaux or castles of the Loire Valley are part of the architectural heritage of the historic towns along the Loire River in France. They illustrate the ideals of the Renaissance and the age of the Enlightenment on French thought and design in the Loire Valley. By the middle of the 16th century, King Francois I had shifted the center of power in France from the Loire back to the ancient capital of Paris. With him went the great architects, but the Loire Valley continued to be the place where most of the French royalty preferred to spend the bulk of their time. The ascension to the throne of King Louis XIV in the middle of the 17th century made Paris the permanent site for great royal chateau when he built the Palace of Versailles. Nonetheless, those who gained the king's favor and the wealthy bourgeois continued to renovate existing chateaux or build lavish new ones as their summer residence in the Loire. The French Revolution saw a number of the great French chateaux destroyed and many ransacked, their treasures stolen. The overnight impoverishment of many of the deposed nobility, usually after one of its members lost their head to the guillotine, saw many chateaux demolished. During World War I and World War II, some chateaux were commandeered as military headquarters. Some of these continued to be used this way after the end of World War II. Today, these privately owned chateaux serve as homes. A few open their doors to tourist visits, while others are operated as hotels or bed and breakfasts. Many have been taken over by a local government authority, or the giant structures like those at Chambord are owned and operated by the national government and are major tourist sites, attracting hundreds of thousands of visitors each year. Thanks for watching our video about this destination. If this information was valuable to you, please help others to find it by sharing it on your social networks. Thanks again and see you next time.